Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you how to model a central garden in Revis. The project is located in Mexico. Architect is MMX, and the total area is 9,144 square meter. Year of project is 2019. As you can see on our screen here, is our project reference before we start model our project. Okay, so before I get things started, I would like to ask you, and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel, and you want to learn more about Revit, make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on for all notification. If you don't want to miss my future tutorial, because I got frequency posting my tutorial one at least one a week. Okay, so now let's go to our project preview together. Okay, so here we are in our project re review. Before we start model our project, as you can see here. So here is pretty much for review, I think, because I, ju I just want to make it as soon as possible. Let's model our project together. First thing again, I need to create a new project template first. Control and for shortcut key. Then I prefer using for architecture template because we're working on architecture template. We will model our central garden. I think we will take about 10 minutes to model that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to using our assessing tool is a wall command and go to wall or WA for shortcut key. Then I'm going to change our level to just level 2. Finish is a 4 meter from level 1 to level 2. And location line just make it for wall center line. I will start make it like this. Just make it for 2 meter, I think. Okay, then our radian is 20 degree like this. Then I'm going to make another one. Or I can hit escape a couple of times first. Then LI for 2D line. I will mirror it. Make it for straight line. Hit escape. Select my existing wall. And MM for mirror. I just mirror it out. As you can see here. Then I can delete it. Let's go to our 3D over there. Okay, as you can see here. Then I want to hide my level first, VG for visibility graphic annotation. Then we finding for character L for level. Because I don't like the level when I start working on my model. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to edit our profile over there. But before I edit that, I would like to go to our file. Then create a new switch profile here first. New, then go to family. Go to our English. I will finding for family template English for metric, and I will scroll down finding for profile metric profile. Switch. Let me show metric profile here. It's open up. Okay, so now we did another profile. I'm going to our line there. Just take away using our rectangle. I will make it like this. Just take away make it like this. Hit escape. Then I'm going to adjustment here. I think I will make it for 50 and make our height here. Just make it for 200, I think. Or uh, we make it 180. Okay, hit escape. Then just load into our project. We will load two projects one because it's a new project that we haven't sell yet. Then I'm going to our 3D again. Select my wall over there. Start from front view. Then I'm going to our edit profile here. Just delete these two guys first. Then start use line to the line. I will offset it for 100 millimeter like this. Then hit escape. Draw another one 400. Okay, perfect. Then use our arts tool here. Connect from here to here like this. Hit escape. I think this one I'm going to offset more. Um, I think I'm going to offset more. Let's see our profile. Okay, 50. I think 50 is enough. Just let it be. Let's give a dimension. 100. Okay. I think 100 is too big. Let's make it for 50 because our profile is 50 on the Li. Sorry. 50. Like this. Then I'm going to connect again. Okay, 
let's give a dimension here okay perfectly then i'm going to hit finish as you can see here then another profile again edit profile then i'm going to delete these two guys here okay so i'm going to draw from here until here yep then 50 just make it for 50 like this then move it a bit yep perfect then i'm going to select here line make it for 50 hit a scan then i'm going to use our radian here like this okay sorry come on okay like this okay let's uh, cancel this one first i think i will cancel this one then i'm going to delete it let's mirror it again start from top here then i'm going to using our 2d line just make it straight line select here then mirror it okay as you can see here this time will be perfectly as you can see here then i'm going to apply for battery parameter i just apply it for uh, again sorry it's like here in the type go to our in the structure material i will using our brick wall same as our project preview Search for bricks then i'm going to load our brick command here load in double click here okay perfect it's okay apply and it's okay again perfect then i'm going to our architecture tab component model in place just using our generic model like this it's okay sweep then set a plan pick a plan here pick for surface here then we can pick here hit the tab key like this hit a scan okay sorry a bit mistaken skate pad we need to skate pad first pick a plan okay perfect start from front view over there then here i'm going to adjustment here or so just make it until here okay then we can hit finish load our profile here family one take a look at our family then like this is going going already so i'm going to flip it for 90 degree okay as you can see it's perfect for me so i can just hit finish as you can see here then i can add another profile on top over there okay i'm going to our grid tab sweep pick pad pick for top here like this hit finish load our profile degrees perfect then we can assign for family parameter use our brick here like this okay as you can see here then let's try to mirror that is it possible it's not possible we will try another way but i think it's it we strongly mirror it will be take some time so i want to do that i will create another one and you can follow along together at the chart tab the in place okay perfect as you can see here so i'm going to finish it okay so i'm going to start select all then gp for group i will create it for group one just create it for group one then li for shortcut key and like this the reason we add our line there because i want to mirror it it's just simply mirror it like this 
as you can see here but this one is going out already so i'm going to fake that just hit ctrl z first and they want this one i think i done it to group there just go to copy then i'm going to move it out move it until straight line like this then i can rotate it just rotate it 90 degree okay perfect then i'm going to move it just move it closely okay hit a sketch like this then we can continue to copy that just copy the rest here co for copy hit a sketch then copy that just copy from here until here okay here's good i think it's pretty much let's see it out open graphic display option and you can copy more until like my first preview there and i can change it to realistic turn on shadow as you can see here that's how you can create your center garden the location in mexico in revis Okay guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial. Thank you guys for joining me from start to finish this project. I got this roof from uh, they do some kind of another tutorial about Archicad. So I thought I, I should model it in my review channel. Okay guys, again, thank you for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revit. And don't forget to thumbs up like and share and subscribe if you are first time here thank you for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revis and have a nice day thank you